vintage mugshots from the 1920s. 1. William Stanley Moore The image was taken May 1, 1925. The caption describes him as an opium dealer operating with large quantities of faked opium and cocaine, also a wharf laborer and associates with waterfront thieves and drug traders. 2. Albert Stuart Warnkin and Adolf Gustav Beitler, October, 1920. Albert Stuart Warnkin is listed in the NSW Police Gazette as charged with attempting to carnally know a girl 8 years old. No entry is found for Boitler, whose picture is inscribed, Willful and Obscene Exposure. 3. Thomas Craig and Raymond Neal, William Thompson and F.W. Wilson. In January, 1928, this photograph was apparently taken in the aftermath of a raid led by Chief Bill McKay on a house at 74, Riley Street, Lower Darlinghurst. Numerous charges were heard against the 15 men and women arrested. It was a house frequented by reputed thieves. 4. Eugenia Fellini, alias Harry Crawford, 1920. When Harry Leon Crawford, hotel cleaner of Stanmore, was arrested and charged with wife murder, he was revealed to be in fact Eugenie Fellini, a woman and mother, who had been passing as a man since 1899. In 1914, as Harry Crawford, Fellini had married the widow Annie Burkett. Three years later, shortly after she announced to a relative that she had found out something amazing about Harry, Burkett disappeared. 5. Allo. May 31, 1928. Six, Joseph Messenger. In 1922, him and Valerie Lowe were arrested in 1921 for breaking into an army warehouse and stealing boots and overcoats to the value of 29 pounds three shillings. The following year, they were charged with breaking and entering a dwelling. They were arrested again later that year for stealing a saddle and bridle. Seven, De Gracie and Edward Dalton, circa 1920. Eight, Frank Murray alias Harry Williams. February, 1929. Harry Williams was sentenced to 12 months hard labor on March 1929 for breaking, entering, and stealing. He is described as being of quiet disposition. Nine, Gilbert Burley and Joseph Delaney. August, 1920. Gilbert Burley on the left is identified as a hotel barber and Delaney's picture is labeled false pretenses and conspiracy. In fact, Delaney was the hotel barber, meaning one who books into a hotel, boarding house or residential and robs fellow patrons, usually in the dead of night. 10. William Cahill. July, 1923. 11. City Skukerman, or Skukerman. September, 1924. An entry in the supplement to the NSW Police Gazette Sydney for Skukerman is captioned, obtains goods from warehousemen by falsely representing that he is in business. 12. Silent Tom, Richards, and T. Ross. April, 1920. 13. George Whitehall. February, 1922. George Carpenter handed himself into Newtown Police after hacking to death his common-law wife, Ida Parker, at their home. 14. Giuseppe Fiore, alias Permanto. August, 1924. No entry for Fiore slash Permanto is found in the NSW Police Gazette for 1924, although this photo appears in a later photo supplement, in which Fiore is described as a safe breaker. 15. John Walter Ford, Oswald Clyde Nash. June, 1921. 16. Kong Lee. November, 1922. Kong Lee makes numerous appearances in the NSW Police Gazette as a safe blower and thief, and is noted in the issue of February 1929 as having recently been seen riding trains in the company of card sharpers and spielers. 17. Ernest Joseph Coffey. June, 1922. 18. Ernest James Montague. August, 1927. 19. Walter Keogh. February, 1922. Walter appears in the photo supplement to the 1923 New South Wales Police Gazette identified as a pickpocket, and later in 1928 as a suspected person and bogus land salesman. 
Keo was also profiled in exposes in the newspaper as a go-getter, selling suburban building blocks at grossly inflated prices. 20. Thomas Beat, November, 1928 21. Masterman Thomas Scorch, November, 1922 22. Patrick Riley, August, 1924 Patrick was convicted of making counterfeit coins and of having a coining instrument in his possession, for which he was sentenced to two years imprisonment with hard labor. 23. Alfred John West, April, 1922 24. Walter Smith, December, 1924 Walter is listed in the NSW Police Gazette as charged with breaking and entering the dwelling house of Edward Mulligan and stealing blinds with a value 20 pounds, and with stealing clothing. A value of 26 pounds in the dwelling house of Ernest Leslie Mortimer. Sentenced to six months hard labor. 25. Sidney Pretty Sid Grant. October, 1921. A picture of Sidney appears in the criminal photograph section captioned Confidence Man. 26. Hampton Hersham, Cornelius Joseph Keeble, William Thomas O'Brien, and James O'Brien. July, 1921. 27. Sidney Kelly. June, 1924. Sidney was arrested many times and much written about in newspapers during the 1920s, 30s, and 40s. He was charged with numerous offenses including shooting and assault, and was a pioneer of illegal baccarat gaming in Sydney. This image on the NSW Police Gazette was captioned, Illicit Drug Trader. Drives his own motor car and dresses well. Associates with criminals and prostitutes. 28. Harold Price. August, 1923. Harold was a thief and gunman. This photograph was taken after he was, was arrested and charged with committing robbery under arms at a house in Sydney, for which he was sentenced to two years hard labor. 29. Frederick Edward Davies, July, 1921. The handwritten inscription on this photograph reads, Frederick Edward Davies stealing in picture shows and theaters Det Sarage Clark and Breen Central July 14, 21. Police held sneak thieves in particularly low regard, which may account for the decision to photograph Davies in front of the police station's toilet stalls. 30. Herbert Ellis circa 1920. Ellis is found in numerous police records of the 1910s, 20s, and 30s. He is variously listed as a housebreaker, a shopbreaker, a safebreaker, a receiver, and a suspected person. A considerably less self-assured Ellis appears in the NSW Criminal Register 1934. His convictions by then include goods in custody, indecent law engage, stealing, deceiving, and throwing a missile. Thanks for watching. Did you know any of them? Subscribe and leave a comment.